Hello there, my name is Colin Nanaya Abebrese and you are welcome to HisGov TV. Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to look at the um, Sagaranti War of 1873 to 1874. And should, in case you have not subscribed to our channel, I would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel. And if you have done so too, we thank you very much for your um, support. Now, let's start mm -hmm. with the lesson by looking at our lesson objective. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain um, the Sagaranti War. Uh, of course, the uh, reasons for that led to the war, and then also you should be able to um, state uh, the terms of the Treaty of Formana. And this treaty was actually for, uh, uh, drafted after the war uh, or after the Sagaranti War. Now, what was the war all about? Now, the war was fought uh, between the British and the Dutch. I'm uh, sorry, the British and the Asante. Sorry, the war was fought between the British and the Asante army and 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 it is for one of the Anglo Asante wars that you can talk about and you know the name of the war actually um Saganat war you know the 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 word um Sagaranti comes from the name Sir Ganat Worsley Sir Ganat Worsley uh, he was the army commander or the British I mean, army commander. He was the one who led the uh, British to invade the Asante Empire. And so, because he was the one who led uh, the British to invade Asante, the name of the war was named after his name, Sir Gennard Worsley War. And um, some people, uh, you know, uh, corrupted the name and it became Sagaranti War. So, whenever you hear the name Sagaranti War, we are actually are referring to Sir Gannard Worsley War. Now, this war, as I have earlier indicated, was fought between the British Army as well as the Asante Army. And the Asante uh, engaging in this war was a bit to uh, protect their independence. Now, Asante had been fighting the British on countless occasions. And the reason behind all this is just to maintain their sovereignty uh, or to maintain uh, their independence as a sovereign what, state or kingdom. And so they would not um, sit down and let the British take whatever uh, belongs to them and they will go after it. So what then led to the Sagaranti War? Now, the cause of the Sagaranti War I mean, can be found when uh, Kofi Kakari, who was the Asante uh, for between 1867 and 1874, now, Asante owned Elmina. If I say Asante owned Elmina, for what you should know is that Elmina was a vassal state to Asante. Now, all the states along the coast of Ghana, it was only Elmina that was for the Asante kingdom. So, Elmina was part of the Asante kingdom. At the time that Elmina was part of the Asante kingdom, um, Elmina was because the Elmina Castle or the Dutch, because the Elmina Castle was owned by the Dutch. It was the Dutch who were at that castle at that point. And so the British, at a point in time, the Dutch you know, decided to leave the coast. And so Elmina came to fall in the hands of the Dutch. Now the British, uh, Asante had been at peace with the Dutch for a very long time because the Dutch were not so much interested in, in colonization but then the Dutch then decided to leave the Gold Coast for uh, various uh, reasons so now they gave their fort and castle in Elmina to the British and as, as I have earlier indicated the Brit uh, Elmina belonged to the what the Asante Empire now Elmina was very important to Asante because Elmina was a source where Asante uh, was getting her uh, for weapons for war. All right, and so for Elmina to be in the hands of the British now, then suggests that Asante was no more going to get access to weapons and ammunition to embark on her wars of expansion, which was of course something that they could not take. And so Kwekuka uh, Kari. The then Asante Hine um, decided to attack Elmina and to recapture or retake Elmina. And that action 
by Kofi um, Kakari uh, provoked the uh, British administration and so the British decided to break the resilience or the spirit of uh, resilience in the Asante Empire. So they engaged the Asante in a fierce battle. Um, Sagan and Wesley actually marched troops from Cape Coast on foot to Kumasi and it was devastating, you know. Um, the whole of Kumasi was bent down, Asante was defeated in that war. Uh, I mean, Kumasi was bent down, everything in Kumasi was bent down, you know. Uh, the whole town of Kumasi was actually bent into ashes. So it was after the war that Asante had been defeated uh, that the uh, Formula um, Treaty was signed and the, and the treaty was drafted. I think I read uh, a book that says after the war and Saganat was uh, they were heading back or towards um, Cape Coast, the Asante army uh, followed them and they met them at um, Formina, a town in between Asante and where the British were living, Cape Coast. And so they signed the treaty there, they drafted the treaty there, but then the treaty was signed in uh, Kumasi, uh, sorry, in Cape Coast. Now, when you look at the terms of the treaty, it's quite funny, but it tells you how rich also the Asantes were. And let's take a look at the treaty of the, uh, for the Formula Treaty. In their attempt to maintain their independence, empires, and autonomous existence, Asante clashed on several locations with the British. One of such encounters with the British was the Sagaranti War of 1873 to 1874. It must be recognized that the war came about as a result of Asante's invasion of the coast in 1873 after the death of the then Asante Hinekoekudia I. His successor, Kusika Kari, invaded the coast in order to recapture Elmina which later came under the British control after the Dutch had left the country. The attempt to retake Elmina by the Asante provoked the British administration in action. In order to break the Asante spirit of resilience, the British army under the command of Sir Gannard Wesley stormed Kumasi and engaged Asante in a fierce battle. Asante was defeated in that war and following that defeat, the British forces captured Kumasi and burnt it as well. After the war, the British signed the Formula Treaty of Asante. Let's take a look at the terms or clauses in the 1874 Treaty of Formina. The first term was that Asante was to pay an indemnity war fine of 50,000 ounces of gold to the British. Two, all the vassal states of Asante south of the Pra were to be granted their independence. Example, Dentura. Asim, Achim, and Adanse. Third, Asante was to renounce her claim to Elmina and its allied tribes. Four, Asante was to withdraw his troops from the coastal areas and keep the trade route open. Five, Asante was also to stop human sacrifice. The fall of Kumase shook the Asante states to its root. It determined the future of the Asante Empire. The terms of the treaty was drafted at Adanse Formula. It was signed by Asante Hini and his principal chiefs at Cape Coast on 14th March. So when you look at the terms of the treaty, <laughs> it tells you uh, how rich the empire was. Asante was made to uh, submit 50,000 ounces of gold. Now these uh, uh, gold were not going to be consumed by the British or I mean they were not going to be taken away by the British but it was to serve as, um, um, should I say, it was to serve as, as what, as, is it, as a, as a, I mean, as a security uh, that you would be peaceful. They wanted Asante to be peaceful. So even, they even also requested for two uh, princes of the Asante Empire, Ousu Ansa and Ousu Gwantabisa. And these two uh, princes were actually taken to um, the UK and they were educated and they were brought back after some years and then you know they came back with English names as usual so that is some of the terms of the treaty and uh, the terms of the treaty especially the 50,000 ounces of gold which I, I, I mean Asante will not be able to pay 
will then lead to a different issue whereby uh, Sir Maxwell will use that as an excuse to come back again and um, 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 exile Kwanana Prempe for somewhere in 1897 or so. Good, so um, if you want to know about Nana Prempe's exile, it's also in the channel. You can check that. However, thank you very much for your time and.